Yeah, 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 you're now tuned into Million Dollars Worth of Game, man. You know what I mean? Listen, this is the album edition. This is exclusive yeah. edition, man. Yeah. Listen, that PTSD, that Herbo, man, that Chicago shit is going down, man. But it's not just for Chicago. It's for the world because everybody's suffering from this shit that's growing up in inner cities of America. PTSD. There's some serious shit going down. Right. Listen, I'm, you know, you already know I am on Wild yeah. 267. It's Gilly the Nut hey, over I here. Told you about yeah, I said what I said. Shut up, nut. Listen, listen it's Gilly the Nut. Stop this right here, listen, this right here, nephew, a.k.a. Fru Fruity Pebbles Wave Cap. He got that shit going. I don't know what type of... I don't got nothing to do with that shit. I don't know what he got going on up there, but that's his problem. Y'all deal with tell it. This nigga did a dub. He talked so fast. Listen, he's uh, too quick uh, on his feet. Bro. I don't know what the fuck's nigga, going on. You know this nigga that been with some what? real Sandy old ass niggas he that just talk. He one of the niggas that, that, that collect wave caps. He probably got a wave cap museum in the crib I and shit. I swear I do. See, this is shit I'm talking about. I got a hundred of them bitches. This is shit I'm talking about. He got the wave cap. All the cats, Louis, all the cats and shit. And G Fee. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Any, any, any. Everywhere you turn, like the African Jones. Everywhere you turn, they the African Jones. Everywhere they the fake Jones. I know what you got going on. See, I, niggas get away with it because they rappers and shit. That's cool. That's another story. But uh, we gonna, you know, this we want to know, man. Like right now, the album is out. Right now, the album is out. out. Everybody's Everybody listening to it, man. Listen, li listen. How did it feel? You know, recording this thing. I mean, like, how did it feel, man? Oh man, it was like a real process. You know what I'm saying? Like I really put like everything into this album you know what i'm saying like it's my most vulnerable project uh i grew on this project you can hit a growth I'm, I'm, I'm addressing ptsd head on from so many different levels you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and making the album i wasn't like you know how sometimes you'll go in the studio especially you know you yeah. know what i'm saying like you'll go in the studio trying to create a certain vibe you know right. what i'm saying mm -hmm. like oh i need a record i need a, a club right i almost turn shit to that you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. i think i didn't do that with this project right. i just went in and let everything come to me naturally like okay. i heard beats and I, what i felt i just said you know yeah. what i'm saying and it, and it came out perfect let me let me say this right because when i was a youngin you ain't really have you know you ain't really hear rappers rap about depression and anxiety and, and you know PTSD and but now it seemed like the youth is really embracing that shit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Cause cause when we was young, niggas didn't rap about niggas rapped about getting the bitches, driving the cars, having the time of their life. You, you would have thought nobody was suffering from none yeah, of this yeah. shit in my head. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all really embracing it. Like was it hard? Did it take a lot of courage to be like, you know what, fuck it, man. I'm, I'm going, this is what I'm suffering from. This is yeah. what I'm going through. This is my reality. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I could fake it off because yeah. I got all the shit. I got the cars. Got the jewelry. I, I got the jewelry. Yeah. Got a bad little spicy chicken. <laughs> and I give it to you. I told you, you won, nigga. You won. You, you hear definitely me? told that me that I won. Nigga, you won. OG told me <laughs> I won, man. You won the race. It's over, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nigga. Nigga in the game. But, like, did it take a lot of courage for you? Was it easy for you? No, nah, it? it definitely wasn't easy because you know a lot of times <coughs> people would judge you on the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't easy to 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 really like give people a part of me that you wouldn't have unless I told you. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And I think it was important to do that because a lot of people could relate to that also. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And while I just told you the other day. We're coming from these poverty struck neighborhoods. Ninety percent of us got PTSD. We just not talking about it. You know. What you know I'm why? Saying? Because we, we just we, we it seemed like we, we we conditioned to be tough and hard. We and, like, and that's like a weak spot. If you talk, if you say I'm hurting inside or I don't got it all together, yeah, yeah. or you a bitch ass nigga, yep. you soft, you weak. Yep. That's how we look at it. We, like we designed, you know, we it seemed like we're designed to be like that. So for when you hear the music today, everybody is talk. It's like. You hear people in their music act seeming like they asking for help. Mm -hmm. I'm going through it. The drugs help me get through it, or whatever they might be talking about. And people be like, they always talking about drugs. People be trying to, people be trying to use a lot of drugs to escape the reality of that yeah. shit that's going on in their head that they've right. seen. And a lot of times it be therapy for yourself too. You don't, people don't even realize like we be saying this when you on a on a song. You saying I'm hurting and this and that and the third. You not really trying to appeal to nobody. You really t telling. Somebody that you you know because we don't have no therapists we don't have nobody to vent to you know what I'm saying like we don't have that coming from yeah. the hood you know what I'm saying so so you, like you you really just be speaking your truth like niggas really self medicating like niggas really took a perk when they homie died and it made them like relax right, right. absolutely you know what I'm saying I absolutely. didn't even fuck that shit but like you just thinking that whole part of your brain probably just blocked out now you know what I'm saying niggas drink lean and 
you just relax it. You feel me? Like go to sleep. I don't be able to sleep. Because the reality is, is back to what Valo said. People is trying to escape reality. Exactly. And I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Growing up in the hood, like you laid on your bills, you 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 don't know how you gonna pay a certain such and such. That we be that fucking button sometimes. Yeah, yeah it do. Nigga stress and hit that. Fuck it, it'll get funny it. when it get paid. <laughs> sometimes that For forty, real. that Hennessy, mm -hmm. that whatever that it is, forty eight choice. That's what I'm saying. Whatever it is, you drink choice. choice. I mean, that be stuff. your escape from that little yeah. small reality of what's going on. What no matter what it is, yeah. my man just got killed. My baby mama tripping. The bitch trying to put me on child support. She know I'm busted and disgusted right now. My whatever it is, that be yeah. that miniature escape. Yeah. That that that, yeah. that two hours of stress free yeah, yeah, because yeah. you hit that motherfucking blunt or that motherfucking backwood or that them, them papers in your mind went somewhere else and, and, for a couple hours. And that'll be a difference between somebody really going crazy. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but. When you do, like, because I, I used to get high, been addicted to drugs since I was 15 years old, bro. Mm -hmm. Lame, real serious shit, Xanax, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. taking it, walking in the house in front of my mama house, this shit, and there's nothing she could do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we do that because we want to escape our problems, but at the end of the day, when we wake up the next day, this shit's still going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't go nowhere, you feel what I'm saying? But that could be the real difference in a nigga going crazy. I swear to God, I used to say it, like Mick right here in front of me, he, I used to tell him like, bro, lean, stop me from doing shit, bro. Right. Doing crazy a shit. Absolutely. Man, that calms you down, huh? Yeah. A absolutely, and, and this is another thing I wanna I wanna commend you on, right? Cause we, this is something that happened off camera, you know, you, you smoke your weed or whatever, and you know, you just said, just talking, man, I can't wait till I get off stage so I can smoke me yeah. something. And I just asked, so you don't, you don't smoke before you perform? And you like, no, you know, I got to give my hour plus set. You know, man, I got to be on point for my fans. So that just showed me that at a young age, you take your shit serious. Yeah, yeah. It's not all about, oh, the bitches yeah. smoking some weed, yeah. being high, because these young niggas really think mm -hmm. that all you niggas you do yeah. is pop perks, take flannies, drink lean, mm -hmm. smoke weed, Fuck bitches mm -hmm. and go to the studio and record. That's, they think that's just that's a life. Yeah. They don't understand the business side of the, it. The, the big sacrifices that too. and the minute sacrifices mm -hmm. that a nigga make to be Every the day. person you are. Hell yeah. You feel me? That's a small sacrifice. What artists ain't going on stage high? Not Most of them mean. niggas is smoking on stage. They yeah. stop in the middle of song. She still playing. Nigga, roll up, nigga. <laughs> and I was, I was once that artist, but I know that's gonna be the difference in between me. Like, it's important. I want everybody out there to feel me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to really take no shortcuts in this shit. I didn't take no shortcuts to get here. You know what I'm saying? And that shit gonna be there. Like, my opportunity ain't gonna always be there. I ain't never had a day where I ain't had no weed. But I, I, I don't always get opportunities like this. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I take advantage of it. Absolutely. And I commend you for that because a lot of youngins, they they not on that type of time. So that just, for me, that show me that number one, you did a lot of growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, you got some good motherfuckers around you. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm no, saying? Definitely, I got because, the best team. Because if, as an artist, if you ain't got somebody around that could check you, and checking ain't nothing but a form of correcting. That's it. It ain't no. It ain't no. I bigger like than you. Uh, I check this nut ass nigga all the time. I check this nut ass nigga. Ain't that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I got it. It ain't a. It ain't a. I'm bigger than you. I'm better than you because at the end of the day, you the prize. Mm -hmm. And I'm but blessed you, to have. I need to cut you off, bro. Mm -hmm. It's one, two, three, four people in here with me right now that's been with me this whole time, and all four of them can tell me the truth, tell me when I'm fucking up, and you know I need that's that. Real. I want that around. That's what you gotta have around. See, and and, that, and that's a point that I wanted for you to get out to the youth because, dog, they really follow you, bro. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm that I'm that nigga that a go and ask one of my homies, "What you think about this? Am I tripping? Should I do this?" I tweet, then I and I listen. They tell me, and that'd be the difference in me really doing something and not. It ain't no big ass little use with us. It never but, been. That's but, major. But that's the key to um, having a lengthy. A length, 
and successful career instead of just coming in and being here today and going tomorrow, flashing the pan, or overnight nigga. That you gotta understand as artists that it's not a just about going in the studio and making music. That's that's thirty percent of this shit. Because there's motherfuckers all over the world that got hot ass music that you never gonna hear ever in life because they don't got no fucking outlet. Because they don't got the team that could say, okay, you cooked it up. Now we gonna distribute this shit to the streets. Because all of this shit is a process. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody can't go on the internet, do some shit and get popping overnight. Mm -hmm. When you came out, the internet wasn't really as big as it is now, right? Yeah. No, of course not. Right, it was it more YouTube, it was just starting. right? Yeah, yeah, it was more YouTube. It was right. really pretty much only YouTube. Like yeah. I remember me and my homies, we made our Instagram accounts and shit like that. You feel right. We all wanted YouTube. to have a no limit in front of our shit. And we really took a vow that we not finna even take this shit that serious for real. Like we not gonna really expose ourselves to that. You know what I'm right. saying? Let me ask you a question. Knowing that these youngins look up to you, right? How they do. Because I know the young niggas in Philly, these niggas go to war for you. <laughs> you hear me? These niggas are, tsh, these motherfuckers love you, bro. I done seen that shit fucking for real. with my own eyes. Like, what is the message that you trying to put out there to the youngins that's following you, yeah. that look up to you, that that's like, I'm going to be the next yeah. G Herbo? Man, I am one of y'all, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? I I come from humble beginnings. Everything you going through, I went through, you know what I'm saying? And you gonna go through some more shit and you ain't feeling the way you feeling for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times we don't really look at life like it is what it is and what it's supposed to be. Ain't nothing in life a coincidence. I went through all the fucked up our shit, shit that I went through because it strengthened my armor press, right. you know? So don't run from it, you know what I'm saying? Like know every day you were getting up, working towards something, even if it ain't adding up on the outside and everybody on the outside or the people around you don't really understand your vision or understand where you want to go in life. As long as you understand that and knowing you working towards it every day, little by little, even before you see progress, even you know in your head that you're making progress because you're doing something today that you ain't do yesterday, that's all you need. And that's going to get you to that next level. I'm telling you, you got to really trust your instinct, trust yourself, and don't not happen for, for no reason. Because it's been times where people around me didn't always understand what I was trying to do and how I was trying to do it. But I still did it and it worked out for me and everybody who was rooting for me. That's deep now. You got a producer from Philly that we know, Dougie on the Beach. Yep. Dougie on That's the Beach. Uh, uh, Talk to him then every day. Now, now, how do it come if I'm a producer out here and I'm trying to get, I like, you know, because people, everybody trying to get beats to you. Mm -hmm. how, what is the easiest way to get beats to you? How you go, how you pick your beats, your selection before you get that vibe and you ready to go crazy? Mickey Music. Mickey Music at Gmail. M I K K E Y. Yeah music at gmail we checking that beat email every day he gonna send me the fire and he gonna check it first and he gonna say this 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 you know and i check it too you know what i'm saying so that's how you get me beats i don't ain't like i said ain't no big ass or little use i never not do nobody beating say because i don't know him if he fire we finna find out who the fuck this Absolutely. is right now because you know at the saying? end of the day it don't matter who made the fire in my beats. hand you feel what i'm saying like Put it in my hands, bro. Get the I'm going bitches to me. It. Hell yeah, get them right to me, and I'm gonna do what I do on that shit. So let me let, let's let's get into some other stuff, you know. Some other shit. I, I watch it from afar, and I admire your relationship. Yeah. You know, you like the new, you know, you like the new J and B. Same this same shit. I be getting up in the morning yeah. like, man, yeah. what Gilly and Tudor on right now, man? Hold on. <laughs> let me ask you a question. When y'all first got together, right? Mm -hmm. I was Fab's energy. Uh, he, he was, I know, he was checking. Yeah, he was checking. My daughter comes like, "Gee, I'm like, I let a nigga rap, but fuck no." Gee, I'm raising my daughter. Yeah, he was checking. He like, 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 hold the fuck up. He had to check my. He's like, hold up. I got. We gotta go holler at that nigga, cuz. He messing with Nala. Oh nah, man, he's Nala. This nah, nigga. He, he had to check my energy, man, for sure. You know, he had to see how I carry myself first, and how I carry up, and you can see that. You know what I'm saying? Even if I try to hide it or be something that I ain't, you still could tell that energy. You know what I'm saying? So right. he had it took for him to be around a couple times. We just spoke, shook hands before we really like, you know what I'm saying, gained a relationship. I know I could hit him up and he could hit me up, vice versa mm -hmm. now. But of course I was nervous. I just said the other day because you're trying to be <laughs> accepted. You're trying to be accepted by a nigga that you looked up to, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Damn near all your life. And you're trying to be accepted by your girl dad. Like, it gotta work, you feel what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I think just me being the nigga I am, being a good nigga, and 
um, because I put Tyene through a lot early, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't know I was like the dude that I am. So they probably was judging me already. And Absolutely. it took for them to meet me and uh -huh. see, you know what I'm saying, how I carry myself again. And they love me. Her whole family love me. That's what's up. Well, so you so you all the way in. Yeah, everybody huh? love me. I'm locked they in. Always man. My whole family in. love her, so Absolutely. <laughs> hey, you, you know it's another question that's like as artists, right? Yeah. On the way up here, Ky I was listening to Kanye West, and he says some deep shit, man. Chicago. How you stay faithful in a room full of hoes? <laughs> he said that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> and it was crazy. Like, I was thinking like, damn, I know, like, when you in a line, like, they just throw it at you. Yeah. Like, like it, it, that's just like, that was some deep shit he said. Like, what I was, I said, damn, I never realized how, how deep this line was. <laughs> like, how do you do it, Chip? Yeah. How do you uh, stay faithful in a room full thing, of hell? First thing, you gotta have self discipline, man. You gotta know what you could yes, lose. You, do. you gotta know what you could lose, man. Lose like, it anything. don't be worth it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, tell them again. And, and I've, been be through, I've, I've been through a lot of shit. Like, I was young, I was in the street, so I was dealing with women early. I knew what it was hitting for. I got a family full of women. Mm -hmm. I was taught that really. Everything, even with me having fun, of course I didn't had a bunch of fun in my life, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. you know that everything that's right there easy is nine times out of ten the shit a trick. It ain't all, you know what I'm saying? Everything right. easy ain't really good. And right. it's just having self-control, bro. Discipline, just knowing mm -hmm. like, bro, I ain't, because it's always yeah, something with it. It's always, always some bullshit, some bullshit that right. come behind it. So it's like, I just try to avoid them situations, man. I done made bigger sacrifices than that. So okay. that shit so, easy. So what do you, what do you contribute, you, you know, to, the self control because the what we could say at one point you had no self control. Of course not, man. You, you feel gotta what I'm learn. Saying? You gotta you learn. Shot the fuck out. <laughs> he was man. wilding out. <laughs> wilding, wilding, you know wilding. I mean? But now you older, you got self. Like, what do you, you know, what do you pin that to? Do you pin that to just, just growing up and being and doing grown man mm -hmm. things as far as paying car notes and yeah. bills yeah, and yeah, probably yeah. your bills. mama bills. Everybody and probably, bills. You feel what I'm saying? I got. 60000 a month just for survival, just for bills, and everybody in my life, that automatically go out. 60 bands. 60 bands just to take care of everybody. Okay, so um, to all you artists out there, just know when you're dying to get on. Yeah, shit. You, you, you I just also, said the other day, everybody won't be a boss till that invoice come, man, for <laughs> real. <laughs> like, even Stunner backed out on some goddamn invoices <laughs> on, on, on me and Mick. <laughs> <laughs> nigga get home, they tell me ain't no money in that account. Nigga like, what? <laughs> nigga in the bank like, this cash money brackets. The fuck you mean ain't no money? Never Bitch, go get the back and check again. Gilly, man, this nigga is crazy, fuck bro. I love this nigga, man. For real. <laughs> Everybody want I like that, though. Everybody want to be a boss come. to a top to cash that You got to make sacrifices <laughs> for this shit, man. You got to. You got to make sacrifices for it. And I was just saying, like, to chat with what you were saying earlier, like yeah. I behave, it's, it's growth, but it's like the people in my life make me want to behave that way. Like I wouldn't be faithful to my girl if I didn't know she wasn't a winner. You know what I'm saying? Like I know what I got at home, I know what I got to lose. Winner, winner, she she better. Yes, exactly. You know that. Like <laughs> everything she do make me want to do. Because right I seen it. one video. I think I seen one video. You all, hmm? she she got you. I think something on your birthday. Oh yeah, yeah. I, see, I'm doing interviews and shit out there now. Hey, I, I, I just cried. Out I cried. I years ago. Help. Put up, boop, 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 he loves me. No, man. I love you, real, baby. Like, I just want my family. And I made a song about that on the album called Gangsta's Crap. And ain't nothing wrong with being a sin against the crap. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a goddamn gangster. For real. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, like, you know, shit like that, bro. I ain't never, ain't no girl ever made me cry. Ain't no female. You know, niggas be crying because she left you. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, I ain't never Not because she blessed you. Yeah, she come through and bless you. Bless me and make me cry. <laughs> Crazy. You know you was scratching because you had a little ugly little joint. Yeah, that was up. real tears. I couldn't hold it back. They made memes. They got me next to walruses and all type of shit. Squirrels and shit. Nigga, man. bottom lip started shaking. Uh, 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 walked in the room. He spoke she, up. She spoke up. Well, she gave him the gift. He started crying. He spoke <laughs> up. Yeah, he spoke all real. But listen, man. Listen, man. He said he made me cry. 
Uh huh. Absolutely. You, you made him cry. You know what I mean? He was a cold gangster ten years ago. He out here. <laughs> shoot him up, bang. <laughs> he has little Nigga, shoot him on, up. Man. No, no shoot. For real. Yeah, but listen, man. PTSD. PTSD. It's out right now. Out right, right now. now. Right now. Everywhere. Go get it. Go get go it. Get it. Right right now, gangsters man. cry. Gangsters, gangsters cry. cry. Make he sure y'all listen to that. This gangster was crying. Make sure y'all go to that. That's the she first song. Gangsters cry. Go go to that, that's man. the first song y'all go listen to. Yeah, that's, that's, my, that's one of my favorites for sure. It's top, it's top five. It's probably that's what's top up, three. man. But listen. I want to commend you, bro, for Keep doing your you thing. going out here. Man, you the shit, man. man. Appreciate you the shit. Man. You, you, you come from the bottom. I, me, personally, I don't know nobody that ever gave you no co-signs. I don't yeah. know nobody who ever... No, you, for real. You know, I be saying that, and I don't be wanting to sound cocky or nothing like that, but I really took the longest route. But the, 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 the truth is the truth, Yeah, man. like, I ain't never no had co -signs. nothing. Like, I'm still independent to this day. Well, I don't got no big... Roll out playing for me, this shit out the muscle. But guess what you do? Sell out any venue I've been to. I've been to about this about my four fifth show. <laughs> and grind. all them bitches been sold out. They selling, out. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Philly the next date, man. That's all them bitches been ended. That's my, and that's my kids gonna be on my top tomorrow. Dang, you ain't going down. All that shit. You gonna be on my fucking top tomorrow. Listen, man. PTSD, man. PTSD out, out right, right now. now. Right now. Go get right that now. shit. Hey, right now. Hey, look. This the motherfucking number one podcast right here, man. Million, 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 million dollars worth of game, 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 baby. I'm Gilly the King, man. I'm Wallow 267. Inspiration. I'm G Herbo, man. And we on a million dollars hey, worth of game. game. This a billion dollars worth of game. Right here. Absolutely. Yeah, I love you, little bro, man. All love. All love. Like I told you, you won, nigga. Right. Ah.